Hey everybody, today I'm showing you two cool new Tesla coils that I've gotten. This is sort of similar to the 100,000 volt Tesla coil that I covered a while ago on the channel. I'm gonna to link to it in the description. It's a little bit smaller. This is still a cool educational tool. This is the fourth generation handheld Tesla gun and you can attach that, which has the discharge needle and everything. It has batteries that you can remove from top. You can open everything up. It has this cool interface here that lets you change frequency, automatic mode power. It is also rechargeable like that one. The difference between these two is that that only has an on off button. There's not a whole lot you can do as far as customization. Whereas this actually lets you change the mode, automatic manual, also the range of the arc. Let's see how they work. This is simple. You just have to screw this in like that. Make sure it's tight. Should be enough. Batteries are replaceable, but when you turn this on, it will, it will tell you how much you have how much you should have, how much is the minimum, and you wanna be careful and just make sure that you charge it enough that it's in the range. You can turn off automatic mode. I can increase the power with this. You can actually do it like that. I can change the speed. So this is pretty versatile. It is customizable and you always monitor your voltage here. And if you have to charge it, you'll know based on these numbers here, everything is explained. So you're not going to attach a wrong adapter or you're not going to have any issue knowing when to charge it. That's what I like. It's also pretty stylish and very ergonomic and very safe. You're not going to have to worry about actually zapping yourself. Well, it's not a big deal anyway. It's a very safe design, it's ventilated, it has thermal management and also the batteries that you can remove these to replace. You can increase the speed again with this. This is the lowest speed. Now this is a little bit more. This is a more standard Tesla coil gun. I've seen a bunch of these in the past, though different style. I have one actually that is 100,000 volts, which is not a toy at all. This is more closer to a toy again, but you have to be careful with these. This, this does create a lot of ozone. If you let it run, you just have to turn down like that. When you're not near a metallic surface, you're not gonna see a huge arc or anything. But once you get close, you can actually light up neon and other gases. For example, these are oxygen, neon, and helium. You get different colors. It's a nice, cool educational tool to actually teach students about different properties of these gases and plasma. No. Just turn this off. Now, there are no buttons or anything else for you to play around with. That's about it. Let's try it with this. So it's much actually cooler in the dark. You don't even have to hit these things, even if you're close enough to see it, you can light them up. Be careful about electronic interference. You don't want to get too close with your smartphone. You don't want to zap your smartphone with something like this. That's about it. These are two cool Tesla coil guns, different design. This is the collector's edition, fourth generation. It has these buttons to change mode, automatic manual. This is closer to the 100,000 volt Tesla gun that I covered on the channel a while back. It's just a smaller but similar design. Just has this on and off button, the other one didn't. Just giving you a rough idea what the size is. I'm going to include a link in the description to where you can buy these cool toys. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. That will really help the channel a lot. Also, if you have any other suggestions or things you want me to cover, leave them in the comment section. I read and try to get back to every commenter. So if you have any feedback, I'd like to hear it. Thanks for watching.